A North Texas woman overcame a rare birth defect, and she is now about to finish medical school at the Texas College of Osteopathic Medicine. Baylor Orcott was born with a left arm that ends at her elbow, but she refused to let anything stop her from her dream of becoming a pediatrician. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer has her story. Yeah, Taylor Orcutt is headed to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where she'll begin a dual residency in pediatrics and internal medicine. Her graduation from TCOM is a combination of hard work and the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, what's your diet like? Taylor Orcutt is living her best life. The 25-year-old Texan is about to become the first person in her family to become a physician. So look in your ears. And her journey is a unique one. My arm just like didn't grow. It stopped right here. They didn't have to do any surgery. Taylor has what's called a birth um, malformation. Her left like arm stopped growing at the elbow. Right and they um, found it on an ultrasound and like told my parents, but they were like, oh, that's fine. Like as long as she's still healthy. She tried using prosthetics as a child, but quickly learned she was better without them. To me, like this was just my normal. So as other kids were learning to like tie their shoes, I was also learning to tie my shoes the same way, it just took me a little bit longer. Taylor says her frequent visits to Scottish Rite as a child developed her desire to become a pediatrician. She wants to work with kids with disabilities. It's something that I've had to work on growing up is like you always want to be seen as normal and like you just want to be like everyone else. But then you get to this point where you realize like other people are looking up to you. Including the parents of kids with special needs. For the parents as well, like seeing that you can still be successful and you can still do everything you want to do is really reassuring for them. Taylor credits her classmates and the faculty at the Texas College of Osteopathic Medicine with helping her succeed in a program that by design is already grueling. They actually like 3D printed me um, something to put on a pen light where you can put the tongue depressor into it and do both um, just with one hand. So I think that the faculty has been very supportive. Soon it's off to the next chapter. For Taylor and her husband, the snow will be one of the biggest challenges in Wisconsin. Their two dogs, Aries and Apollo, will no doubt love it. And graduation is this coming Wednesday from 1 to 4 p.m. at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth. The celebration won't last long. A week after that, she's headed to Milwaukee with her husband and their two dogs. Reporting in Fort Worth, Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News.